on my way to go hit some back and shoulders. I just got a new Gorilla Pod tripod, so I'm using it like a selfie stick. And I'm fucking exhausted because I just got off work at nine. In the, well, it's one o'clock, and I haven't taken a nap, but it, I got off work at nine a.m. and I had worked previously from eleven thirty to nine in the morning the following day, and then before that I had got off work at 9 in the morning, so I only had a two hour gap, and I was working from 7.30 at night. So I put in a shit ton of hours these past few days. But I'll just take some pre-workout, get all hyped and shit. Once I got off work, I went to the dentist, then from the dentist, I went home and my grandma made some fire ass breakfast. And then I hung out with my uncle who came from Michigan for a while. But I need to come make some gains because I didn't come yesterday. I don't even know what to do about my back and I don't want to go to the doctor because I'm already going to the doctor for my chemo and then I went to the dentist. And for those of you who don't know, even though most of you guys probably know I had cancer, but I had testicular cancer and I had to get my right testicle removed. And now I'm having chemo to reduce the future chances of cancer because as of right now, the possibilities is 15 to 20%. And um, with chemo, one or two sessions of baby radiation, it'll be, or baby chemo, it'll be reduced to 1%. So, I mean, it's best if I do it. And I shouldn't have like severe fatigueness or hair loss or any of that that you see on like what everyone has during chemo Because like I said, it's only one session and it'll be minor dosages of it But yeah, and now I have to go to the dentist to get all four of my wisdom teeth removed And that's a cop and I have this big ass camera in my fucking hand <laughs> But uh Yeah, so I have to get all those removed and now if my back doesn't get better in a few weeks because I'm already over any medical assistance type stuff I'll go get my back checked out But I feel like if I just stay away, I thought it was the back and squats that are doing it But I realized it's just the squats and I think I'm just gonna stop squatting for a few weeks completely Not even light squats Yeah, after that I should be pretty good. I hope But if not, I'll just go to the doctor but I'm about to pick up my friend Danny, and we're gonna head to our normal gym, not Body Zone, because that gym is pretty small, and we don't really like it. So we're gonna go back to our old gym, Golds. We about to talk it all.
such a pussy. <laughs> gym and we almost left right when we got here because Danny got his first blister. You can't even see it anymore but it was bleeding at first. Let me see it. It's like healed up by now. I wait, wait, it's not focused. Oh. You can't see anything. Oh uh, yeah. You know why? 
Oh, it's a pussy blister, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You saw this, it was bleeding. <laughs> I feel like Steve Cook, because that dude always has good hair, even when he's working out, after he's working out. And my hair looks pretty good, damn good still, so. It's a good sign. But I'm fucking starving. I'm gonna see what I'm seeing. I left half my Cinnabon at home, so games. <laughs> Probably eat that, even though I shouldn't, but it's the holidays. I can eat whatever I want right now. Yeah, I'm curious, what do white people eat for Christmas? Because, like, all I see is on my Snapchat and stuff is tamales. Like, do you guys eat Thanksgiving food all over again? Or what traditions do you guys have? 